Continuing the series Tools That Boost Your Creativity, today I want to introduce you another Maxful Light device that will help you to give a new life to your loops library, generating new original ideas for your tracks. Hey guys, my name is Francesco, I make house music as Distilled Noise and on this channel I share music production tips and insights from my journey as a music producer and DJ. If you're new here and you're interested in these topics, consider subscribing to the channel. The tool that I'm going to show you today is called Loop Flip and it's another Max for Live device designed by Marcus Tiberg from XY Studio Tools. Loop Flip is a device that allows you to take a bunch of audio and MIDI loops from your live session view slice and manipulate them through the randomization of different parameters and paste the result in the arrangement window creating new and musically interesting loops. But it's way easier to understand what this device does by seeing it in action. So let's get into Ableton. So here we are inside the project that I was playing around with this morning. Loop Flip is this nice and colorful device that you can see here and that we will see in action in a minute. And this is a loop that I made using Loop Flip. So as you can see, it's made of all different uh, uh, slice of uh, different loops because if we zoom in you can see the different slices have different names so where are these slices from so loop flip takes these slices and mix them from the session view so as you can see i have uh, six different tracks with different audio clips loaded in so what loop flip does is taking parts of these uh, clips and putting them in the arrangement window to create new sounding loops and the result that i got is quite nice So this is pretty nice. So let's see how Loop Flip works. Let's see it in action. So we will delete everything and start from scratch. The only track that I keep is the track with Loop Flip inside. So if I do reload tracks, you see nothing is in here now. Let's create six audio tracks. What we're going to do with audio, you can do it also with MIDI, but today we will stick to audio for time reasons. So let's put them up. So let's start loading some clips. First channel I want to to load it with some top hi-hats so I will go and look for them so let's go and look in some of the abstract sounds folder for example this is like this this is like this this is like this and this is like this these are cool so let's let's go now and take some bass lines so the first thing that you need to know when you load bass lines pads synths any type of these instruments is that it's better to have them in key so you don't have a total mess when you start putting them together so okay let's go here sundrum a minor so for example i want this this is a bit different, but they are all in the same vibes. Let's put this. Oh, this is nice. So four loops, you can put more. You can put up to eight clips. Now on audio three, I want to cr to load some breakbeat sort of loop. And I will take the ones without the kick, so. And this one. I want to try some percussions. Uh, let's take uh, one, two, three, four. And then let's put a kick loop. Okay, another important thing is to set the clips in fade mode. So you select all of the clips, you go in here and you press on fade. This means that when loop flip will cut the clips, it will create fade ins and fade outs so you that you don't hear clicks. And the last thing I want to warp them. So I want to go inside here, press command A, command U, command A, command U, because otherwise since loop flip cuts on the grid, they can start in the middle of the sound, you can have the transient which is cut, etc, etc. So better to have them warp. So let's move on this window now. And let's take a look at loop flip and let's try to generate something. So loop flip generates one or two bars depending on how many pages you set here. And the position when you start generating and pasting the stuff, it depends on where you place this uh, thing here. So let's place it at the beginning. Let's now click on reload tracks. 
and now you can see all of our trucks here. If you don't want to generate anything from some of the trucks, you can deactivate them. Or if you have more than eight trucks and you want to select some specific ones, you can go here and select them. Boom. So one measure. So this is what we have. sounds pretty bad and the reason is that we uh, forget to uh, fix some of the setting well it could still give you some ideas but it's not what I want so the first thing that for me is very important especially when you work with uh, percussion like stuff is to uh, press this first square on those elements what does that mean? That is the alignment, aligned function. Align function goes and take that part of the loop, which corresponds to the part where you are in the loop itself. Let me explain better. Let's generate again, uh, for example, just for the first track. Let's press there and generate again. So if I go have a look here, the, start, the slice that starts on one and I go inside it, it actually starts, it's the piece of the loop that starts on the one. So it doesn't take, for example, this part or this random part here, but it's actually respecting the position of the kick. If there's a kick, the position of the snare, of the hi-hat, and this will sound much better if we check it out. It still makes sense, even if it's made of different loops, because here you can see 04, 03, 01, so it uses many loops but it sounds totally organic okay if i press on the kick i don't like this kick let me see let's use another one okay sounds pretty good let's do the same for the other sounds that we have here because we also have these drum uh, these breakbeat patterns that i think are important to stay on the grid so now that we found a good pattern for channel number one we will deactivate it on the loop flip and we will activate for example not just channel number three or even the other ones oh the baseline sounds sick sick the baseline sounds sick we go here and now we just keep keep this channel number three so generate and let's try to mess around with the uh, density and with the extend notes function that's not bad this is just too loud so i'll take it down a little but starts to be satisfied with it but you can keep changing you can decide if you want just change one of these parameters so density swing extend notes rotate what is rotate so rotate is uh, it changes the way the different lights are picked so let's try to go with the percussion let's see if some miracle happens Go back to loop flip, now select just the percussion and generate. Wait a minute. Let's deactivate the legato so it also leaves some blank spaces. Okay, so this is just a quick idea that we got. Now, this is breakbeat. Breakbeat is not my favorite style, but turned out pretty good anyway. And if you like something, but you want still to try different option, you can just copy this and put it here and try to generate something new in here. pretty sick let's put it to mono it can be the starting point for something else let's try to press on legato so there is something that we could keep 
this is I think is not warped I didn't warp it so I should have done it before you see here there is something that starts right before the end of it so that's because it's not warped now it's gone everything that um, loop flip does is non-destructive you can still move around in the loop and select a better part that you like more you don't like this you just go here and move this here for example or you can switch it off it's a good start. Of course, there's nothing that you can do without spending some time on fixing stuff, but it's an idea that I couldn't have without trying to it. And this is the purpose of these videos that I'm making and these devices that I'm showing to you. Let's try to add maybe some musical stuff. We are in A minor, so let's look for something in A minor. Yeah, I will also put this and see what happens. We go on loop flip, we press reload tracks, now we have the new track. Let's deactivate all of these and keep just the pad on so we can start generating something for the pad. Generate, so let's see. <laughs> It's not bad, I mean, I like it already, but I think, yeah, first we choose one synth that is much more aggressive than the other, but still, I think we can work with that. So let's try to change a bit. Or at this point, I might have the idea of just keeping that one and deleting everything else. or put a filter to close the first part so that it's not. One last feature that I want to show you is the double loop uh, function. So you can press on 2x and this will create two loops instead of one. So if I press on 2x, this will create another loop, which is now identical, but you can decide to change the parameters independently for the two pages. So this is the first bar is page one, the second bar is page two. Alright guys, so I have a bit of a cold, I'm losing my voice, I can't go any more further with the features. There are a couple more which you can discover by using the device or watching the other videos on the web or reading the manual, which is something that I always suggest to. Consider that you can also use this on MIDI. So maybe you have three different versions of a baseline that you wrote down in MIDI, but you're not happy with them. You can throw these three MIDI clips inside the loop flip and see what it comes up with and maybe you will be satisfied with the result. The device is selling for 14 euros, so it's very cheap. If you want to get it, you find the link in the description. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you got inspired a little bit today as well. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.